So, coming to the first topic that is about the normal physiology of potassium in the body in a healthy patient. In a healthy patient or in a healthy person, whatever potassium we take is excreted from our body. It is the same amount like if we take 5 milli equivalents of potassium per day, the same amount goes out of the body. So, mainly potassium the source for our body is via diet. So, diet has the potassium which goes inside our body and potassium is sent out of our body via sweat, stools and urine. Out of these three, stools and urine are very important uh, routes via which the potassium is sent out of the body. If we take stool and urine, in healthy patients, urine is the major route via which potassium is sent out of the body. Kidneys will try to send more potassium if it is present in the blood to be secreted in the urine and via urine higher high potassium levels which are present in the blood are sent out. If the kidneys are not functioning well, the potassium level in the stool also increases. Normally, whatever diet we take, the potassium which is present in the diet is absorbed in the intestines into the blood. The remaining amount of the potassium is sent out in the stools. This potassium content in the stool increases if the fiber content of the diet increases. So, if we take less fiber and if the patient has constipation, potassium content which is present in the stools decreases and more potassium is retained in the blood. So, what I mean to tell is if the constipation risk is there or if the patient is suffering from constipation, especially in patients who, ha who is having uh, lower kidney function there is increased risk of higher potassium. So, whenever we take normal diet, normal diet has all the components like it will, it will have minerals, ions, carbohydrates, proteins. So, whenever we take normal diet, this the components of this diet will get absorbed into the blood. So, carbohydrates and proteins will cause the insulin to be secreted from the pancreas. This insulin what it will do is, it will push the potassium from the blood to inside the cells. So, whatever potassium we take in the diet will be pushed inside the cells, majority of that. So, if patients who, who are having uncontrolled diabetes with lesser insulin levels in their blood, they are at more risk of high potassium levels in the diet.